Dear colleagues, I'm happy to see you again. Uh, I'm uh, happy to welcome you in our meeting today. Um, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity and once again express our appreciation to the organization for continuous and uh, very important support to our democratic reforms. Uh, we success successfully cooperate within the action plan, which by the way, uh, thanks to your efforts, uh, was adapted to this uh, uh, humanitarian situation following the exodus of Armenians post displacement of Armenians from Nagoya Kala. Now we also have the comprehensive response component uh, for the action plan. That would be a very instrumental thing to help to integrate these people into society of Republic of Armenia to keep them in Armenia because you know our position is uh, if it's not possible, if it's not secure for them to then not encouraging them to be uh, should they mark, uh, keeping them in Armenia, uh, not allowing them, not encouraging them to go elsewhere. So this is a, a, a short introduction. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Minister, and uh, I'm glad to be again in Armenia because, as you said, uh, we have uh, we worked uh, for a long time on many issues, and I wanted to uh, to commend and thank uh, your government on really working on the reforms and indeed the action plan that you mentioned that we have now for 2023-2026 is uh, one uh, in uh, in a row that is assisting Armenia on this important job and that uh, one probably uh, one information that could give you um, an idea how much the member states of the Council of Europe are uh, dedicated to the action plan and to developing uh, relationship uh, and dialogue with, uh, with the Council of Europe and Armenia is the fact that uh, we already secured um, almost the totality of uh, what is the funding for the necessary. We still have some funding to raise, but actually that shows that in the first year we already have secured almost the totality of what is needed. And indeed, as you mentioned, we are very glad that we could respond in a situation which was unprecedented and, and uh, a very great uh, humanitarian situation from uh, those who, um, who had to flee their homes from, from uh, Armenians from Karba. And we were very glad that we have now 2.8 uh, million euros dedicated to that, of course, uh, to help uh, human rights institutions to deal with these issues in, in, our, uh, in a human rights compliant manner, but also uh, to respond to some of the urgent needs that uh, these people have, as you say, as uh, for the moment uh, they are in, in the Republic of Armenia, and for the moment uh, there, there is no visible sign of whether they have safe and dignified uh, possibility to, to, to return uh, to, uh, to their homes. So in that respect, we are very glad that we could uh, immediately react. My special representative on uh, migration uh, was here already in October and on based on the needs that your government displayed uh, and on uh, our side, the action plan that we have in respect of uh, people uh, in, uh, in hardship uh, while, while they are migrants or, or refugees or displaced, uh, we have set up this uh, comprehensive plan that can respond to, uh, to the needs. And we are very glad that it also has a component uh, where uh, almost 2,000 uh, medical workers who have fled uh, uh, their homes could uh, find employment, but also at the same time help uh, people uh, with their uh, psychological or other needs that they might have in this hardship situation when, when they are there. So we are very glad that uh, we could be able to uh, readjust our action plan uh, for the urgent need that Armenia had at that moment. And therefore, I'm very glad that we can uh, put in place that very immediate response from, uh, from uh, Council of Europe. So. 